Jeez, Peter, you look terrible. I know. Lois has been wearing me out. I just can't keep up with her. I don't know what she's trying to prove, Brian, but I can't take it anymore. Peter, can't you see she's doing this because of you? For God's sake, you called her a plow horse. It's no wonder she's trying to prove she's young and vibrant. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. The city of Quahog has been stricken with a case of Bieber fever tonight as teen idol and fake black guy Justin Bieber is in town for a sold-out show at the Quahog Civic Center. We now go live to Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa with more. Tom, I'm standing here at the Quahog Civic Center, awash in a pool of prepubescent sexual moisture. <laughs> Look! That's Mom! Oh, my God! What the hell? She's at a Justin Bieber concert? Ugh, Justin Bieber's so yesterday. I'm all about Quentin Vache now. Who's Quentin Vache? Exactly. What's going on? Do we have to get a new mom now? No, Chris. I'm gonna go get our old mom back. If I'm the one who made her feel this way, then I'm the one who's gotta fix it. Brian, keys. Chris, beer. Meg, ugly. Adorable. I could just bite him and eat him up. I know. He's perfect. He's like a boy and a girl. I know. <laughs> Sorry, you're not allowed in here. Oh, yeah? I'm not into that. Oh. Well, what are you into? Pinkberry. I love my job. Yum, 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 yum. Hey there, cutie. Oh, hey, how's it going? Um, are you a friend of my mom's? <laughs> yeah, I'm your mom's friend, Mrs. Robinson. I don't, I don't get that. Is that a reference to something? Ah, uh, okay, uh, I'm, uh, oh, I'm Stifler's mom. Still, no idea. Okay, just get your pants off, hon. Stop right there! Get away from her! Peter? Who are you? How'd you get in here? Step away from my wife, you acorn penis beauty! Look, I swear, nothing happened. Just relax, old man. Old man? What, you think you're not gonna get old, you little bastard? <laughs> and Lois, I've had enough of you too. Now you come home and start acting your age. No, Peter, I don't want to act my age, and you don't want that either. Otherwise, you wouldn't have called me an old plow horse. Look, I didn't mean to say that. I, I, I was a jerk. But isn't this what you want? Don't you want me to stay young and exciting? Well, I thought I did. I mean, every guy who's been married a while thinks he wants a hot young chick. But after you spend an hour with one of them, you want to blow your brains out. But, Peter, I was just doing this to make you happy. You do make me happy, Lois. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. That's sweet. But you gotta admit, I'm not what I used to be. Well, neither am I. I used to be a lion tamer. Look, Lois, I'll always treasure the wild little hearty I met when I was young. But I don't want to be with a kid anymore. I want a smart, sexy, beautiful, middle-aged companion. I want the real Lois. My Lois. Oh, Peter. Mr. Beaver, they're calling for an encore. Oh, my God, those kids are expecting a show. I'll handle this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway Beaver. Sure is good to have you back, Mom. Yeah, we missed you. Well, thanks for putting up with me, you guys. Sorry I got so flipped out about my age. Oh, I don't worry about it, Lois. But from now on, remember, I love you just the way you are. And besides, there's nothing wrong with being 35. Peter, I'm 43. Get out of this house. <laughs>